So everybody should have three lemons. Put them inside your tray. All right, and I want you to take up a lemon and have a look at it. I made some cuts into these earlier, so there's two slits made into them. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to just line them up like that. Anybody want to take a guess as to how we're going to use lemons and metal and a light bulb and some cables? What are we going to do with this? That's absolutely right, so let's go. Okay, so what I want you to do, you've got three pieces of copper here in front of you. In one of the slits for each of your lemons, I want you to put a piece of copper halfway in, okay? So just like that. And then you've got some silvery looking stuff. This is something called zinc. I want you to put that in the other side of each lemon, halfway in. So girls, what we're gonna try and do is we're actually gonna try and make a battery out of this lemon. Okay, so inside batteries, inside normal batteries you have in your remote control, there's usually three ingredients. There's an acid and two metals, usually copper and zinc. So we've got copper and zinc, and we've stuck them into the lemon. Where do you think we're going to get our acid from? The lemon. The lemon. Anybody want to name that acid? What do we call the acid inside lemons and oranges and things like that? Citric acid. Very good. So the citric acid with the lemon, there's actually, once the metal hits that acid, there's a chemical reaction. And electricity gets starting to be made, okay? So the chemical energy inside the lemon changes into electrical energy when the metal hits it. And if we connect those all up, we might actually change that into light energy and make our light bulb come on. So now we've got four cables, okay? And what I want you to do, just like, you know, in your remote control where you have the batteries and one's going this way and one's going this way, and you have to kind of put them the plus side to the minus side, it's just like this. So these two metals actually react at different rates with our lemon juice, with our citric acid. So they conduct electricity at different rates. And if we hook them up, copper to zinc and copper to zinc and copper to zinc and send them round like that, it's going to send our electricity round in a circuit, okay? And that will hopefully, if we put a light bulb in the middle of that circuit, we should be able to light it up. So what I want you to do is with your lemon number one, I want you to connect the zinc on that lemon to the copper on the lemon next to it, second lemon. And once you've done that, I want you to connect the zinc on the middle lemon, lemon number two, to the copper of the third lemon there. So the zinc on the first lemon to the copper on the second lemon, the zinc on the second lemon to the copper on the third lemon, and on the outsides then, you should have copper on one side with no friend, and zinc on the other side with no friend, so nothing for them to do. For those two end ones, I just want you to stick one of the cables there and leave the other end free, and on the other side I want you to take one cable, like that and I want you to leave the other end free as well, okay? So we should have something that looks kind of like this. So we've got the coppers and the zincs all connected together, and then we have two free cables at either end. And in between those two cables, what I want you to do is I want you to try and clip on your little light bulb, okay? So you're gonna clip one, one alligator clip to one side of the light bulb, one alligator clip to the other side of the light bulb, and you should see your light lighting up. Did you get it working? So make sure everyone in your group can have, have a look. And put your hands over it because it's a lot easier to see if it's a bit dark as well. Well done, girls. So everybody's got their lemon batteries working? Yeah. yeah. So again, just to go over it, what happens is when the metal hits the, the lemon juice, the acid in the lemon, it creates um, uh, an energy, okay? And electricity starts keeping, being made because the chemical, stored potential chemical energy in the lemon gets changed into electricity. And when you stick a light bulb in the way, that actually then gets changed to light energy.